I'd say that's starting with a bang. <laughs> Don't laugh at that, Chirps. You know what he said. You know what he I'm said. I'm sorry. So, American Laser Games decided none of this bullshit with other games. As soon as they made something successful, they're going to make a sequel. God, this fucking guy. <laughs> yeah, who cares about from the makers of the Crime Patrol? Just make Crime Patrol 2. Yeah. Fucking Greg from Accounting does such a good impression of, like, whatever. He watched the Scarface. B movie once, and he keeps doing that. <laughs> and, so oh, hey, let's put him in the game. So... Uh, I am, of course, uh, not a man who lives in a country with many Hispanics, so I just have to ask the question, is every uh, sequel to an American Laser Games racist? Yes. They got guns, we got guns. I love this guy. This guy. Eat lunch, lady. This man is a terror. Oh, man. Do you think he's the father of uh, the other guy from the first game? Call me Sam. Yes. Um, I think it's fascinating because, like, I don't think anyone in Crime Patrol 1, and they were all kind of deranged, were nearly as deranged as that guy who pulled out a gun while he was just, like, driving the streets of Chicago. You better think again. There's just two things the cartel understands. Guns... <laughs> Wait, eggs? Lately, eggs. Yes. My adversaries have been making it a little hot. Well, you know, they hide the drugs inside the eggs. Oh. You know, they they're like use. My white powder is killing people. <laughs> they'll use like a um. They'll like inject eggs with drugs, and then they can crack them open, and all the drugs pop out at the end. I like how they can't say, like, cocaine or something, so it's just, like, white powder. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm selling sugar all across Mexico, and there's nothing you <laughs> bastards can do about it. Also, wait, he just said, you can will not fight my laugh. This fucking, like, kingpin just says one laugh. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> also, he's like, don't worry, I have a lab. Take some target practice. And what a lab it is. But of course, we have to take target practice no! in a scene already in place. <laughs> well, this is clearly a courtroom, and this is obviously a jury of your peers, where half of them have guns. <laughs> right. They're dealing dope in this bar. What do you say we buy these guys? A six-pack. <laughs> just, just as good lines as the original one, I will say. Wow, I love how the music can't even, like, get to any of the interesting parts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's, I think, one of the biggest issues with the, um, the way they handle these games is, like, putting background music on it makes it more obvious that the cuts are happening. And you don't get to enjoy the music. They've also got way more one-liners, I think, than the last time. <laughs> well, they knew what worked. Yeah. Yeah. And you can tell this is from the makers of Mad Dog McCree. It's true. <laughs> I like this guy. This guy's cool. Yeah. Hey, nothing's gonna ruin his vacation. If he had one too many. Actually, he's got just enough. <laughs> I like that uh, Daisy Duke's a standard police uniform and, I don't know, it's country vanna. Officers, people are dead. <laughs> uh, like all driving sequences, these are the worst part of any um, American Laser game uh, sequence. As you can see, I have to shoot slightly behind all of them. If you shoot at them, it doesn't count as their hitbox. <laughs> well, I mean, that's how it would work if you were driving a car. I guess you're right. Anyways, I don't know what happened between these two scenes. I guess he just had his foot on the gas for eight hours. <laughs> yeah. And then finally it's something. <laughs> it's like a, like one straight road for half the town. So it's, uh, yeah. You know, it's like a, it's a one road town. Like, why would you have to turn? I guess so. I believe Sierra County is like, um, Southern California. 
That sounds about right. That, that's insane to me that they have this thick a country accent in California. <laughs> 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 Because my first guess, based on the architecture, was like, oh, this is probably, like, New Mexico, but that doesn't explain the accents either. Well, you know, California, it's it's a melting pot of all of America's worst people. Wait, was that the it's ultimate true. warrior with a gun? <laughs> yes. Not so ultimate now. You're on my Christmas list, partner. It's showtime. Wait... So he wants you for Christmas? Yeah. Cartel, cartel drugs. The bottom of town. They're gonna kill you. No se puede esconder. You got no place to hide. Get on the floor. I appreciate that they translate it for me. And that he was so nice and helpful to like wait for him to translate first. Yeah. Big boys, what you got? Also, is it just me or does that guy look like Daniel Craig? Do you think this was his first bit? So if you're heading north to Chicago, maybe this is in Georgia. I'm Stan. I mean, yeah, I don't know. They could have gotten it wrong. Now take that six shooter and pick your next assignment. Is this Forrest Kaysen from Dark Dreams Never Die? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, considering this is Chicago, do you think Stan the Man has been involved in any black sites? Uh, yeah. <laughs> literally all of them. He literally ate his victims. <laughs> Let's take him to a nice dinner. I'm hungry. <laughs> Again, we're just like opening up fire in a place that I think very much should not be seeing gunfire. Mm -hmm. But you know, that, that's how that's how it is sometimes. It's a dangerous job. What the machinery factory? I don't think it's a problem. <laughs> You know, if you're gonna get into a gunshot, you, gunfight, you probably shouldn't wear such a loud shirt. <laughs> well, that's how you distract them. Like, it's really shiny, so it'll, like, blind them. Take a number! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent reading. No need to do a second take. <laughs> I like how chill the music is during this time. Yeah, you're in the crime elevator. Yeah. Hopefully they're all lawyers. <laughs> great, Jesus thanks. Christ. Fuck them. <laughs> thanks for your great commentary. Oh, this is totally the tutorial stage. Yeah, just from a different angle. Check the obituaries, pal. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Still Dory chirps every playthrough of this game I see before as people die at that courthouse too. Yeah. Anyways, I wanted to leave that great one-liner in again as we go back in. <laughs> yeah. God, the, the, the security guard jumping out of the way as he gets shot is so good. I love how everyone here is moving like they're sitting in a fucking roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> they're on like Star Trek and they're uh, they're telling them like, oh, okay, the Enterprise is shaking right now. Yeah. <laughs> Also, I like how many lawyer jokes they're trying to fit into this one sequence. Yeah, the reason Chirps died is because he's a lawyer. Whoa! <laughs> so, here's like the thing about the Crime Patrol series. I feel like the Crime Patrol series is like a world. <laughs> it's like a world in which random civilians like see a cop and then just decide on the fly, I am a criminal for life now. Time to kill this cop. <laughs> Yeah, it really does feel that way, because, like, you do have a bunch of people that are clearly, like, dressed in some kind of gang, but you also have a lot of people like this, where it feels like they just got back from, like, a Rusted Root concert and decided that they should, like, pull out a gun. I like that uh, there are a lot more women criminals in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of gal <laughs> bosses. <laughs> Not wrong. And honestly, a lot of gaslighting. <laughs> <laughs> All we're missing is the gatekeeping. Hey, the gatekeeper is you, my buddy. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. What is with this bus? Why is this bus so tidy? <laughs> um, that's how many <laughs> that's how many criminals there are. Yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, that was the bus driver. Oh, no, he got dragged back down. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it would have been great if they went to that other gas station again. <laughs> oh, he's fine, by the way. <laughs> did he not? Did they think he was out of the shot? Yeah, I think so. Director says to buy the fat man a hot dog, pack your bags, and head for the border. Chicago is your kind of town, partner. <laughs> well, no, it's so not because I'm leaving. Welcome to the border. Call me Sam. <laughs> We're gonna take on the Canadian cartel. <laughs> oh no, we got put to the wrong border! A lot of these we just like... It feels like we're just like at a cantina, right? We're just like at a place where just a bunch of people are hanging out and just ruining it mm -hmm. for the people who have vacationed here. <laughs> no, we're going into a bunch of like leftist spaces, so they're all like, oh my god, a <laughs> cop! <laughs> oh my god. Like I told you, my Terry holds water, that guy saw a cup and decided at that moment that he's a criminal forever. No, he was cleaning <laughs> up the barnacles with a gun. He was an innocent man. <laughs> I mean, that's the best way to clean them. <laughs> this nice big block of styrofoam we have up here for some reason. Yeah. I do appreciate how many of these uh, shots will just have the Oh people, no, she has a like, gun! Shoot her! <laughs> We'll just have people like towered on top of each other and like a, for like a pile of dead bodies. Mm -hmm. Really helps the continuity of the whole thing. <laughs> Anyways, again, we're just ruining someone's vacation because the cartel decided to show up. It would be really funny if like one of them tried to like hit the volleyball towards you, so you had to shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> I don't know. She was like hiding a pig under her hands. <laughs> You're just trying to have fun at the beach and also- OH MY GOD! <laughs> he really gave it his best shot there. <laughs> hey, pick up that gun, it was floating in the ocean, it's trash. It's dangerous. Imagine a fish gets a hold of that. Yeah, some well, seagulls gonna have it around its neck. They had a really big car crash budget in this game. Yeah. Yeah. They also were willing to, like, destroy a camera for this shot. It was a bad shot, too. <laughs> oh, okay, he was okay. <laughs> that was the cameraman. <laughs> this is actually unrelated to the cartel. We're just trying to find out the people who are, like, I don't know, trying to get frisky on the beach. Saying, hey, that's against the law. We're actually Jaws the shark in this scene. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel they just kind of forgot to, like, make our partner, like, say things after we beat a mission. Well, she's not fat, so there's not a lot she can say personality-wise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, like, the they gave us partners that just feel like they have a lot less personality. Except for the guy there. Anyways, oops. That was an innocent person you shot. <laughs> have you checked the obituaries? Because he's in them. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Torps. <laughs> Look. It was, it was hard to get there. Anyways, I think it's fucked up that a different guy shows up with a gun in that same window. Yeah, I love how many of these shots will just have, like, a guy come in from off-screen on a vehicle trying to shoot you. It's very dynamic. Yeah. Cartel <laughs> what about the innocent? Yeah, I was gonna say, Wait. there's an innocent on there, apparently. And they Not just anymore! Uh, well, <laughs> he was innocent until he popped back out with a gun, and then he's a criminal. Very sweet. I guess so. I guess they can't prove that he's there anymore, right? The lady goodbye. Oh, you kissed the lady goodbye. You're going south. South America, that is.
<laughs> Thanks. <laughs> well, we're already at the border, so I'm not really sure where else we could have gone. The cartel will, but they've gone too far. Pick your assignment, partner. Please don't point your gun at me. <laughs> this can't go wrong. Just pulling out the iron in the middle of the street. <laughs> ah, it's South America. Everybody's packing. Let's <laughs> ground. It would be so funny if people were just walking around with AK-47s and if you shot one, they're like, hey, that was an innocent civilian, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> also, this is like the weirdest music choice of any of the levels. But you're in South America, so you have to play this. <laughs> I guess so. This is classic <laughs> South American music. Yeah. This is like if you had a tape of the Bulk and Skull music from Power Rangers that got stuck in a cassette player. <laughs> I shoot. Thanks for translating that. And no problem. They weren't going to. <laughs> I will say that fake out is like maybe the best one in the game. Just for the way he's posed, it's like you think you're gonna shoot him. Can you accidentally shoot your partner? And do they say, have yeah. you read the obituaries today? Because I'm in them, and then he disappears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, yes. True night vision. I will say, this is a lot easier than the last night vision they did for Crime Patrol. Right. Not yeah. as much smoke. Yeah. I don't know if it makes it much better, but it makes it, like, easier. <laughs> oh my god, is that guy there? I couldn't tell by the shadows. <laughs> Good thing you missed. Well, no, I was doing a warning shot to tell him to get back inside. <laughs> you're down, pal, but you're not out. If I were you, I'd be more careful. What, dude, why is he holding a llama? <laughs> Oh, well, that's one of the biggest uh, crime bosses in all of South America. <laughs> it did look like he was, like, holding his gun to the llama, so, like, I'm not sure what's happening That It's kind of like in Mad Dog McCree when he's, like, trying to wrestle that donkey. I, I wonder if it's actually a deliberate, um, like, visual reference, because it reminded me of that, too. <laughs> it probably... <laughs> It's an American in, like, the Southern America. Like, they're probably just shooting animals left and right, just terrorizing farmers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, we killed one of the apple guys. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, that's just like an American businessman. Yeah, we are invading the Barbie dream home. <laughs> 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 he just has a suitcase full of money up. And a cheap ass couch. <laughs> oh no, my new couch. I can't believe it. Okay, all right. Claire, so that's Claire. it. Claire. Okay, <laughs> this was truly the most impactful catch we've got this entire game. Man. Wait, that wasn't the end? No. No, because we never we didn't find his drug lab that he talked about. Friendly village, no? <laughs> Man, the later seasons of Breaking Bad got so weird. <laughs> that dude in the front and the way he's reacting all the time is just my constant mental state. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got me on edge. Don't shoot me! Don't shoot! Daddy's got money! <laughs> oh no! <Ooh. laughs> I want him as like our like HUD. He's like the Doom Marine. <laughs> Just his yeah. eyes going back and forth. The more he's gyrating, the worse it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know how this is helping us find where the drug lab is, but you know, just it's the people with guns are like a breadcrumb trail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, when you kill someone, you gain their knowledge. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I get you. 
Like, you now have the lived experience of everything that they've done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You now know how best to raise chickens from shooting that guy. <laughs> right. <laughs> See, that's why you were able to blow up the boat, is because whenever you shot the innocent <laughs> man, you learned he was actually bad. I don't know how that happened, but you know what? I'll take it. Well, you know, you know South American markets always filled with highly flammable substances. Mm-hmm. It's true. But yeah, so now we are on the trail to the drug lab. I know there wasn't, like, a transition there, but that's what's going on. I hope, uh, our partner's like, Remember, shoot the lantern, not the whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> you made it this far, you know what to do. Do it! <laughs> you know, maybe this game was successful because of it's just very straightforward. Yeah. Yeah, there's not a lot of fluff to this game. I mean, I feel like that's kind of true of Crime Patrol 1 as well. Right. But this one is just like, boom, boom, boom. One thing to the next. Yeah, it does very much just amp it up a lot. Right, but that's what I'm talking about with Crime Patrol. It's like, there are no like, oh, uh, you have to shoot this very specific part of the screen, or, oh, uh, there was actually a guy in the window, even though you couldn't see him. Right, no, like, take a crack at this barrel. Like, the hardest thing about this one <laughs> uh, is just, like, people in motion, mm -hmm. which has just always been an American Laser game problem. Mm -hmm. So realistically, it feels very fair, and it goes out with a bang. That was oh, the that entire drop operation. That was the <laughs> yep. end of the game? Ooh, yeah. Good game, player. <laughs> also, at the very end there, before you blow up the lab, you can shoot your partner uh, just as a final little, oh, god damn it, I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to do the whole sequence again. I think from the start of the drug lab, not from, like, the start of the trail. Mm. Or, no, you actually have to play the entire video game over again. Yeah. Fuck. And what a game it is. <laughs> Thanks, New Mexico. Thank you, New Mexico. <laughs>